Hey everybody, it's Matt from Fanfare, Kalamazoo, Michigan. Let's check out all the new books, but first and foremost, this Saturday is free comic book day. Come on out, support a local store, get some free stuff, check out all the cool things we're going to have going on. So starting off here in Marvel, we're looking at Avengers Forever, issue number five. Ben Riley, issue number four. We have a later printing of Avengers Forever, number four right there. We also have Black, um, sorry, Legends Black Panther, issue number four. We have a second printing of Carnage, issue number one. A giant size X-Men Thunderbird came out this week. Pretty cool. We have the Epic Collection for Ghost Rider up top. Iron Man issue number 19. Another Epic Collection for the Incredible Hulk. We have Maestro, World War M, number 3. Marauders, number 2. This one's really cool. Spider-Man 2099 Exodus kicking off the big 2099 event that's going to be starting going on through the summer. We also have Spider, uh, Spider Gwen, Gwenverse, number 1. We have Star Wars Crimson Rain, uh, issue number 23. Star Wars Obi-Wan Kenobi, a new number one. We have a Peach Momoko cover. Awesome stuff. This one's really cool looking. We have High Republic Jedi's End paperback. We also have Jane Foster uh, Thor paperback. And another complete collection, Del Mundo and Jason Aaron, volume five complete collection. Over here we have Venom Lethal Protector, number one. Later printing of that. Second printing, actually. Wolverine Patch number one, second printing. We also have Star Wars, or sorry, not Star Wars, X Men Legends uh, paperback up there. Moving on to the Mar or, sorry, DC Comics. Blah, blah, blah. DC Comics. Here we go. We got Batman number 123, Batman Beyond Neo Year number two, Batman Beyond the White Knight, a second printing of book number one. We have Batman Killing Time number three. We also have DC Legends of Tomorrow issue number three, Flashpoint Beyond, part one of the crazy storyline. There's Thomas Wayne with uh, the Trident and Deathstroke Sword. Pretty crazy. We have uh, Hardware, Season 1, Issue number 5. Moving over here, we have Monkey Prince, Issue number 4. Nubia, a one-shot, the Coronation Special. Uh, we also have One Star Squadron, number 6 of 6. Sandman Paperback. This is Book 3. It's a big old one. We have a uh, different cover for it, too, up top. We also have Tales of the Super Pets paperback. We have Suicide Squad number 15. We also have Task Force Z issue number 7 to tie it together. World of Krypton number 6 of 6 tying up that story. Moving on down to the Image Comic Books this week, we have Deadly Class issue number 52, Firepower number 30, Frontiersman the Lockup Special. Little Monsters, Jeff Lemire, pretty cool stuff there. We got Manifest Destiny number 46, and a new number one here. This is Metal Society with your choice of covers including a cool homage to metropolis we also have monkey meat crazy banana story i'm really into uh, we have radiant black we also have a righteous thirst for vengeance and mercandolfo sweet paprika we have a new number one twig from scotty young and kyle stram this is cool this is beautiful art this is a ton of fun it's a really awesome book uh just fantasy crazy super imaginative check it out got lots of different covers including a scotty young a peach momoko and a blink moving on down we have Alice Ever After for Indies. It's back in stock. We also have Archer and Armstrong Forever. That's pretty cool. It's a crazy, crazy cover right there. Um, we have Back Issue. We also have Beyond the Farthest Star, Warriors of Xandar, and Buzzard Bone, Source Point Press. Over here we have Dogs of London from Aftershock Comics. We also have Dynamite with that rad species cover. Over here is Duel. And we have... Uh, you Follow Me Into the Darkness, that super, super crazy high-contrast horror book. It's pretty crazy. Uh, Grim Fairy Tales 2022 Cosplay Special. We have The Grunch from American Mythology. We also have In His Own Image, number three. This one is Joyama. That's uh, a paperback right there. Sorry, hardcover. It's something really fancy. We have Kent Menace, number one. We also have La Muerte Onslaught from Coffin Comics. Magic the Gathering, number 14, over here. Looking at Mizo, uh, Battle at the Kobion Rock. We also have Money Shot paperback, Once in Future comic right there, as well as this giant hardcover slipcase for Once in Future. Very fancy, very cool. Get your discount this week on it. We have One Night in Prague, number one. We also have Pantha, number three from Dynamite. Uh, past the Last Mountain, issue number one. We also have Pellucidor, Across the Savage Seas, number four. We have Project Superpowers number two. Retro Fan has a new issue there. Moving over here, another new one from Vault Comics. This is Quests Aside with uh, a very, very cool cover. I like that one a lot. Uh, we also have Red Sonja. We have Rise of Dracula from Source Point. We have The Rocketeer number two. Heavy Metal Magazine prevents, presents Starward from Steve Orlando. We have the Stone King paperback over there. Uh, moving on down, we have Swamp Dogs. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number 128. Awesome stuff. They're getting back on track. 
Heck yeah. Transformers Beast Wars number 15. We also have a Transformers The Best of Hot Rod with the Biggie cover. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, Witchblood has a paper bag. And for your mangas this week, we have The Hero Life as a Self-Proclaimed Mediocre Demon, volume 4. We have Kubo Won't Let Me Be Invisible. What's the deal? My Brain is Different. Stories of ADHD and Other Developmental Disorders. We have Reincarnated as a Dragon Hatchling, volume number three. And to tie it all together, pretty popular one, Toilet Bound Hanako Kun, number 13. Media Time. It's cool comics over there. A little bit of kids, a lot of toys. Starting off here, we have Doctor Who Magazine. We also have Dune, The Waters of Conley. We have a G Fan Magazine. Look at that Kaiju Bastion on the cover there. Star Trek The Mirror War, issue number six. Star Wars is back again with all those titles that you saw on the other shelf. We also have Willy's Wonderland, Nicolas Cage movie, comic adaptation. Whoa, Zorro, he's right there too. On to the kids. What do we got? And of West Philly, we have Cat Ninja, My Little Pony, Izzy Comes Home, Jim Henson Storyteller, Shapeshifters, and The World of Yaxin, The Day of the Unicorn. So, this away, toy time. There's cool toys. Starting off here with some cool plushies. We have Goliath from Gargoyles, the Rabbit from Alice in Wonderland, and Miss Piggy in her evening gown. We have this little teeny tiny Hermione Granger, I'm guessing, hiding right there. For uh, Pops, we have Pokemon, Sylveon, really cool, Lucario, and Alakazam, how awesome is that? From Ghostbusters Afterlife, we have Mr. Gruberson, aka Paul Rudd, and King Shark in his shorts, that's such a rad one. Ratcatcher 2 with Sebastian, Daryl from Letterkenny, and Katie from Letterkenny, and a two-pack Riley and Jonesy from Letterkenny. We have Charging Wally from the Specialty Series here. We also have the Vince Carter Slam Magazine cover collectible Funko Pop there. For your soda cans this week, we have Mr. Owl and Donald Duck, three Caballeros. We have a Psylocke and Storm from Mini Company, pretty cool, Golden Frieza from Dragon Ball Super. And for some rad Team NT action, we have two packs. This is Donatello versus Shredder. We have Michelangelo versus Bebop, Leonardo versus Rocksteady, and Raphael versus Triceraton. And then for these are very cool. These are the reissues of the original 80s Playmates figures from Mirage Studios. Really cool stuff. They also come with vintage reproduction packaging, including all of the old stuff, minus pizza points. And we have a little bit of keychain action there from the classic style TV show stuff as well. And for a couple variants to show you here, this is Iron Man number 19, the Nakayama variant, 1 in 25. We also have Twig, the Scotty Young black and white 1 in 100 version. And quests aside, this is the Henderson foil variant, 1 in 100. So just a reminder again, Saturday, free comic book day. Come on out, support us. It's going to be awesome. Or if you're not around here, support your local shop. It's a great thing. So thanks so much for watching, everybody. If you have any questions, reach out to us at 269-349-8866. Have a good night.